Ben Horner for MBTV here with Alan Ritib. Two years from the first entering um, boxing ring, you now made your pro debut. How did it feel to walk out to an electric crowd? You know. Yeah, it's the crowd absolutely amazing. I can't uh, I can't thank them enough. Sports enough. I've done a pretty good ticket tonight, so hopefully it all carries on. But yeah, pro debut in two years, dream come true. I said you before, didn't I? Unbelievable. Bit of a scrappy fight, scrappy opponent, but. Yeah, it was a good day, really enjoyed it, good night, got the result. When you, I don't know whether it was a punch or a head or where, where you got that on your eye and you, you felt it, you know, you pulled away at it a little bit, what, yeah. what, what went through your head? It was, minute? well, it was the head, it was just a clash of heads, but he was coming in constantly with his head, that's why, that's why I pulled away, in annoyance from myself really, that I kept letting him come in and headbutt me, but it happens, it's got to get used to it in pro game I suppose, you get a few, a few scrappy fights, but... Nah, just try to box off a bit and try and keep him off of my jab. And that's what I'll do next time, a lot better. That's what I was going to go on to, you know, like something that we spoke about before and it's um, the way you box. It's very sensible, very controlled, very smooth boxing, you know, the, the style is down to a T. Cheers, mate. Um, where do you see things going from here on out, you know? Will we see an aggra aggressive Alan or is that something you, you're going to work on your boxing skills? You well, know? just keep working on my skills, boxing skills is the way forward, sensible way to box, like I say. Uh, there's plenty of aggression, just not uncontrolled aggression. It's hard to control it as much as I can, so, yeah, but we'll see how it goes along. I'm working going to do a lot of strength training before the next fight, build up some more, a bit more power and things like that, get a bit bigger for the weight, hopefully. Made weight comfortably today. So he come in about three, four pound heavier than me. So plenty of plenty of room for some strength. Someone who you know well, Nathan Dale, um, fought this opponent in his second pro fight. Um, same outcome. What a dream, you know, to follow yeah. in someone's footsteps like him. But is that is that something that you want to do, you know? Like that that would be absolutely amazing. Nathan's extraordinary talent. I've obviously you've just seen him sparred him a few times, he's helped me learn so much, like all the boys have. And to follow in someone's footsteps like Nathan, any of the Walshes, anyone like that, would just be fantastic. It's the what a goal to get to get to the standard that they are. So that's what I keep doing, looking forward, pushing on, learning, keep fighting, keep winning. Well, well done. Thanks, and, um, Cheers. See you next time. You know. Yes, mate. When definitely. the next one comes see you around. Soon. Cheers, mate. <laughs>